Hi, my name is Jason Short, and I would like to walk you through a sample CLR proc that I put together very quickly to demonstrate how to use regular expressions within a SQL statement through adding a SQL CLR method into your database. Um, I'm going to take this same DLL and also recompile it for a SQL Server in a later version of this demo, but this one I'm going to be demonstrating Vista DB4. Load the regex CLR solution and take a look at the README TXT that's included. It explains a little bit about why this was created. It allows you to do regular expression searches uh, using a CLR proc. Um, it's actually registered as a CLR function into the Vista DB database. Here's an example query. Uh, select star from orders where like regex, the ship city has a non-ASCII character, or like regex, the ship address has a non-ASCII character. Can you imagine doing this in just plain SQL code, having to write all the lefts and rights and do individual character, character comparisons? It would be nowhere near as fast, and you would not be able to take advantage of all the power of regular expressions within .NET. Um, the sample database is called sample regex test DB. This is just a pared down Northwind that I modified just to use for this example. Uh, the solution is compiled using Visual Studio 2010 and Vista DB for build 14. So the first thing you need to do is actually compile the solution. Make sure you don't get any errors. Then we want to go and open the database using Data Builder from the release folder. Don't just open it here because this is your clean copy. It is being copied into the output every time. Now a quick way to do that is say open the folder in Windows Explorer. Go down to bin, release, and now here's the database. Now you can take a look at the database itself. It's just a pared down north win. But if we go into the programmability tab, you'll see there's no stored procs, there's no assemblies in here. So the first thing we need to do, hitting control O within the SQL query window, um, go back up to the regex and the setup script is the first one that we want to run. Just hit control E or F5 and make sure that you see OK added the assembly and OK added for the create function. Now if we go into the programmability we will actually see that there is an assembly here. It's called Regex CLR, which is the one we just built. And if you drill down into the CLR procs, we have a method called like regex. And that's the regular expression class match that I put in the uh, in the project. Now to take a look at that real quick, you'll see that this is very, very simple. There's only four lines of code in the entire thing because all I'm really doing is basically taking the input value and a regex pattern and basically calling the regex after I trim the pattern and basically saying, hey, do we have any matches here? So this is a real, real simple um, chunk of code, but it demonstrates the power of using CLR code inside your database. So now let's go ahead and open the sample calling. And there's it's a little code up here to basically make sure that the regex CLR is actually loaded into the database. Uh, it's just now regular expressions can get quite complicated, and usually you'll find that if you have a problem um, with something matching when you don't think it should be matching, it's usually a problem with the regular expression itself. Um, I use a little tool called uh, regex tester that I can run, basically put text in, put my regular expression in, and then play around with the various .NET settings. Um, I'll see if I can find where it is I originally downloaded that and post that as a part of the README. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to use it as a part of a record set return. So we're going to basically find those employees who have phone numbers that look like US phone numbers. Now this isn't foolproof, but basically it's looking for the beginning of the string, finds a paren, three digits, not with a zero at the beginning, uh, then three digits, a dash, and four digits. So it's looking at the home phone field from employees. And you execute that and you see that it found all of those records there. And if we go and we look at their home phone numbers, sure enough, every one of them does look like a US phone number. Um, here's another example. Find the orders 
that the ship postal code is a five digit number so it has to be exactly five digits and the way that I'm highlighting this to execute is I'm just holding down shift and using my up and down arrow keys so you can just highlight a couple lines of code and then you can click the execute query hit control E or F5 and you'll only run that one line instead of having to run everything every time and so now we can go through and we can look and see the ship postal codes and they all have five digits so basically it excluded all the ones that were you know had the letters in them or had a B or you know anything like that um, and for one last example uh, find the orders that have non-English characters in them in the ship city or the ship address execute that and if we go and we look you can see that the shipping city there has a U umlaut um, has a accented E, accented O so there's just various non ASCII characters that are in these so that's a nice simple CLR proc um, the entire process only took me about 45 minutes to write it compile it and test it and by far most of that time was actually me just trying to remember how to use regular expressions because I don't use them that often but I hope that this is useful and I hope you have a lot more ideas of how to use CLR procs within your databases thanks for your time